November elections are going to play a big role in what happens in Washington, and all eyes are watching one race in Williamson County. Republican Congressman John Carter has represented U.S. House District 31 since 2002. Mary Jennings, or MJ Hager, is looking to replace Carter. She says she decided to run when she wasn't able to get a meeting with Carter about an issue. KXAN's political reporter Phil Prazen sat down with both candidates. We showed you his conversation with incumbent John Carter yesterday. Today, Phil's interview with Hager. What is Congressman John Carter doing now that you think you can do better? I think that the people of this district are hungry for someone to represent them by engaging with them and collaborating with them and talking with them and taking meetings with them, um, holding town halls and answering questions um, instead of kind of uh, ruling from D.C. on high and recognizing that this is not my seat that I'm going to be occupying, it's their seat, mm -hmm. and that I work for them. I think people are hungry for that. You kind of paint a picture that he's out of touch, but how, how do you know that? So a couple things. He hasn't held a town hall in five years. He, he holds these um, kind of mock town halls where the questions are pre-screened and selected and the audience is controlled, and that's mm -hmm. not really a town hall. I mean, I think he's um, probably a very nice man. I've still never met him, um, I, but I think he's acting as if he's already retired. Do your values line up with this district and, and so how? I think by definition my values line up with this district because mm -hmm. I am this district. I moved to this district when I was seven years old fleeing a domestic violence situation with my biological father. My mm -hmm. mom and my sisters moved here. Um, I grew up in this district, met my husband in elementary school. Um, this is a, a highly military district and I served my country which John Carter has not. Um, I do represent the values of this district and by the way I'm one of those people who did used to vote Republican. This district has voted for uh, Congressman John Carter. He has been on the ballots and he has won for decades. And decades. I have voted for John Carter as well. So why is this going to be different this time? Because um, I am one of the people that Republican Party leadership is depending on to continue to vote for John Carter. Mm -hmm. And I am one of tens of thousands, if not more, people in this district that are tired of being told how to vote, tired of being told that they can predict how they're going to vote based on their socioeconomic status or their race. And they're looking for a better option. Um, if I would take the extreme measure of quitting my job and running for Congress to provide us with better representation, I think enough voters are going to take the extreme measure of voting their conscience and voting for the person and voting for character over, you know, eight terms in Congress is not. Having eight terms in Congress is actually something I think that should make people not vote for him. We'll have extended versions of this interview and the one with incumbent John Carter when we talk issues on State of Texas. KXAN Sunday Morning Show. It airs at 8.30 a.m. right before Meet the Press.